The loan trading has closed on May 27th, 2022. We always start with our disclaimer. It's not to disappoint. It's my trading plan for Tuesday, May 31st. Uh, remember, I can be wrong, completely wrong. Any trades you make should be at your own risk. If you like my channel, please click like and please tell your friends. We called for the pattern with the early high. We said normally it's a negative pattern, but recently it's had the early high, a midday rally, and the final hour low, with the low being over the early high. And that's what we got. Uh, Tuesday's pattern should have the early low. This is just a reminder of what we said. We said unless we gapped and promptly overtook today's high, we should see lower prices. We needed to gap and we did. We get to cross another target off the list, 41.44.78. Support resistance at the target. These are the next higher targets from earlier this month. 41.71.18, 42.13.50. During the day, MJT said this drop wouldn't stick, that we trade higher, and we did. This shows to Mark's buy signal at the low on the daily chart. Here's the weekly chart. 41.66.45 is a TDST line. It's resistance. The 89 week moving average is also resistance. So we have a strong rally right to resistance. We had called for a 190 handle move over this trend line when this buy signal was given. Today it would have been about 41.90. That didn't print. Let's see what the price will be Tuesday. We'll move this to, I guess that would be the 31st. We'll drop this down and we're there. So even if we close unchanged, I think we open unchanged or even down around 14 handles, we'll be 190 points over the line. And that's the target of the move. Now the target isn't to stop and reverse but this pattern doesn't generate any higher target right now. A few more things to notice on the chart. This rally started way under the 50 day moving average, way, way under the 200 day moving average. Rallies which start this far under the 200 day moving average fail at some point. That doesn't mean they can't go significantly higher first, but if someone thinks the whole bear market's over, I don't think so. But again, that's way in the future. Let's take a look at this high and draw a trend line, follow it back and see where it leads. There's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit. And there is a hit going back to right at the pre-COVID high. That's a major league trend line. And my rule is you gap under the trend line and the trend line wins. If we do trade over this line without gapping over it, it will probably retrace at least to the line. But this is one of the logical places for this rally to stop, particularly when you're at the resistance we've already shown, and particularly when 
when we reopen, uh, the price target should be hit. Now, I think there are many ways to count this. We had this as A, we had this as B, and we had this as C, but there's no relation between C and A. I don't think that's C, but it certainly could also be counted as A of red B, B of red B, and if you do that, you have an ABC with good fibs, and you can count a clear five waves up one, two, three, four, five, and the fibs all work. And C is a fibrillation to A. Now, just because that count works, it doesn't mean other counts won't. But we could be making still, we, should, we could still be in wave red B with this A and this B. And if we do stop here, which is not a lock, but if we do, we could have another move down similar to this one. C tends to resemble A. So if you want higher prices, it's important we don't stop here. That would give us a count something like this, A with A and B. And this so far would be a 38.2% retracement of the last leg down, which again is resistance. And it's one of the logical places this recovery to stop, pause, even though this whole pattern isn't complete, we could still have one possible count is to have wave C bracket down to complete B and then have C further up. And actually, I think it could be significantly further up, but I'm just caring about when we reopen and we have to break through resistance or we could see another leg like this one. Well, Tuesday's pattern has the early low, could still give up. Typically, it's a rally day with a final hour high. If it's weak instead, more weakness should ensue in the days to come. Longer term rally starting this far under the 200 a day moving average eventually fail. Doesn't mean we have to drop Tuesday. In the immediate term, I can't count the bear market rally as complete. So at some point, we should see higher prices. Doesn't mean we have to see them Tuesday. Day-long rally on Friday nearly always carries over into next week's open. It's particularly true in the low of day is the first five in the par and the high of day is the last. Today's typically bearish pattern was bullish instead. Nearly always that leads to higher prices when the market reopens. So all these things point to higher prices. And when signals as powerful as this fail, they tend to fail in a big way. So if if we gap down smartly Tuesday, could lead to a very steep drop. In fact, anything other than gapping up should be a cause for concern for bulls. At Tuesday's open, we should have completed the 190 handle target of the trend line break. We have NASDAQ McClellan oscillator over its Bollinger Band. If it reverses through it, it gives a sell. There's resistance from the 89-week moving average a major trend line in the weekly TDST line. It's also a wave count compatible with this leg being over. The wall into the close is often followed by gapping down when the market reopens, though it's thus reliable over the weekend. And the continuing rally after the close can be a sign of panic buying by amateurs. And if that's what it is, we're going to gap down when the market reopens. It might even be gapping down uh, when futures trade over the weekend before the regular trading hours. That I don't know. So Tuesday's open should tell the tale. You're at resistance. Depends if resistance holds or breaks. If you gap up over it, you've overcome resistance. There are higher targets. But if we move down instead, it could be a long way down because that could start uh, a wave C of larger wave B and wave A of larger wave B was pretty steep down. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we open uh, Tuesday. 
because this is resistance. This is the end of the wave of a wave count, not the only wave count. And it depends if we can break through or fail big. And um, that is today's call.